Hi guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to easily free up space on your Mac's hard drive or SSD. Need to know what to do when it comes to clearing space on your Mac's SSD or hard drive? Don't worry, we know exactly what to do. Even spending a little bit of time with a machine, virtually all users are going to be familiar with files building up on their devices. Files in your downloads folder, email attachments, files in your movies folder, it never seems to end. While Apple provides several built-in options for clearing your storage, that doesn't mean other solutions aren't also available. Knowing how to clear system storage on your Mac can be important. Keeping your Mac clean can be a seemingly never-ending task, but fortunately, there are some relatively easy ways to free up disk space on your device. Not only am I going to take a look at several different methods for how to manage storage on Mac, I'll also take a look at how to clear system storage on Mac, while also providing a few additional tips and tricks as well. I'll also make some recommendations for third-party software should a user need it. When it comes to clearing hard drive space on Mac, there are a lot of options, so let's explore. When it comes to the differences between a hard drive and an SSD, there are quite a few. For example, hard drives at this point are a tad outdated, though many are likely familiar with the tech. They also serve some rather useful purposes, even in modern times. Typically, a hard drive features several layers of disks that have a magnetic coating, these disks are then spun at a fast speed, as the head head passes over the layers to write and read data onto the disks. Hard drives are slower than SSD due to these components, as well as the fact that drives can often keep files fragmented. However, traditional hard drives are also cheap, and they're capable of holding large quantities of information. Solid state drives, or SSDs on the other hand, are non-mechanical, meaning a typical SSD can be much faster than a typical hard drive. Additionally, Solid-state drives hold information via flash memory chips. These chips also handle the allocation of written data, while also retrieving data. In short, SSDs are much faster than a hard drive, while also being quieter and more durable thanks to fewer mechanical components. However, SSDs are typically more expensive, more so when going gigabyte for gigabyte with a hard drive. For example, you're going to spend way more on an 8TB SSD than you would on a traditional hard drive. Due to the nature of a hard drive, users should try and keep 5 to 20% of their drive space free on their Mac. This can be especially true if you are consistently working with processor-intensive programs, such as video editors or games. Keeping a certain amount of your disk storage free will ensure that your Mac will be able to easily store temporary files. Keeping a good chunk of storage free will also help prevent slowing down, as your device will be able to easily handle the excess files. If you are receiving warning messages that your Mac's storage space is full, there may be several reasons for this. The most likely reason is that there are too many unneeded files on your device. It is also likely that there are many duplicate files on your machine. Regardless, something is taking up too much space, and users will likely need to find ways to clean their drive space. Whether you have too many personal files or far too many useless files, we've got a solution to help with your storage management. As previously discussed, there are several reasons why keeping a certain amount of space clear on your Mac is essential. One of the largest reasons you should keep your drive space somewhat free is so that you can continue to download additional files as well. Another reason that you need to keep your drive clear is so that your Mac can continue to process and generate temporary files. A good example of necessary temporary files would be your internet cache. Every time you load a new web page, your device needs to download these files. If you do not have the proper storage management to save these files, your web browsing will slow or become completely unresponsive. To boil it down, your hard drive needs a good amount of space to complete necessary tasks. If your device is unable to perform these tasks due to a lack of space, you're going to run into issues. Fortunately, we got some solutions to help you with your drive space. If you want to ensure the long-term performance of your device, it's generally a good rule of thumb to keep about 20% of your SSD empty. While users do not have to abide by this rule, it's generally a good one to follow to ensure that your device runs the way you want it to. An important thing to remember is that a typical SSD will keep a certain amount of space for things such as temporary files and cache files. For example, a 2TB SSD is going to be a bit more than 2TB, but users will not have direct access to this extra drive space, as it is reserved for cache files and other temporary files. However, if you find that your machine is running slowly or is unresponsive, you may want to greatly consider freeing up some space on your SSD. 
This is doubly true if you are receiving error messages relating to the space on your drive. If you're a heavy memory consumer, it is wise to keep some of the storage on your SSD available. Users should know that modern versions of Mac OS are going to take anywhere from 15 to 25 gigabytes of space. For example, a fresh install of Mac OS Ventura can take up to 25 gigabytes, whereas an upgrade to Ventura may take 15 gigabytes of disk space. Earlier versions, such as Mac OS Monterey, can take around 20 gigabytes of space as well. Ideally, I would recommend keeping around 25 to 30 gigabytes free just for your operating system. If you're looking to completely wipe your Mac, you should check out our guide here. Whether you're wiping the Mac because you plan on selling it, or you simply want to start over from a completely clean slate, we've got your options covered. If you need to check your storage on your MacBook Pro, or if you need to know how to check storage on MacBook Air, it's dependent on what version of Mac OS you are using. Checking the storage settings on your Mac has two different major variations, depending on what version of Mac OS you're using. Click the Apple logo in the menu bar. Click System Settings General Storage. Alternatively, if your SSD appears on your desktop, you can secondary click the drive's icon and choose Manage Storage. This will give you a rundown of the space available on your machine while also showing your storage bar, which provides your storage space usage. From this pane, you can also see what specifically is consuming the most space on your device. If you're running a version of Mac OS older than Ventura, go to the menu bar and go to Apple at about this Mac storage. Users should know there are several options they have available to free some space on their drive. Whether it's getting rid of unnecessary files or moving certain files to different locations, options are at the ready for users. One of the easiest ways to optimize your storage space is by having your Mac do it for you. Apple does provide options for optimizing storage. This can be especially helpful for removing junk files and unwanted files, giving users extra space for more important items. Store in iCloud will help users save space by moving photos, files, and messages directly to their iCloud. Your device will keep recent files on your Mac, while also keeping optimized photos on your Mac when you need valuable space. Cloud storage or online storage can be a great way to save space and speed up your machine. Remember that all Apple users have access to an iCloud drive. Optimized storage will help users save space by removing Apple TV movies and shows that a user has already watched. Enabling this setting will only keep recent attachments on a device as more storage space is needed. Empty trash automatically will erase items in your trash for longer than 30 days. If you are using anything before Mac OS Ventura, you can find these settings by going to Apple at about this Mac Storage and Manage. You will have the same options above, while also having a Reduce Clutter option. Reduce Clutter looks for large or unnecessary files and makes recommendations for users regarding what unwanted files they can remove. If following the above guides didn't provide enough information, there are still plenty of options available for users looking to erase duplicate files or unnecessary files, or are trying to remove huge files or other various types of files from their machine. For example, there are several third-party tools that can help users with purgeable space on their devices. One of the most annoying things about making space on a disk is the fact that it can often be hard to determine essential files from non-essential files. Fortunately, some of the biggest files on your Mac can often be non-essential, such as video files or other unwanted media files. There may even be large hidden files that you may want to consider deleting or removing. If you're looking to free up storage on your Mac, know that there are options available. Along with some of the options available directly from Apple, there are plenty of ways to take care of your disk storage without resorting to an expensive option. While modern versions of Mac OS do have tools available to users, getting rid of things such as duplicate items can still be a pain, which is why a third-party solution may greatly help certain users. While power users will likely need to continue to eye their storage, those that use their device for common tasks likely will not need a massive amount of help organizing and removing files. However, Remember to check things like your downloads folder and email attachments to stay on top of keeping your storage clean. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here. See you next time.